Welcome to Gravel Load, and we have Intel releasing another microcode update for the 13th and 14th gen processors. Not a truly a shock. I, I didn't think Intel was going to get everything in the latest in the last update, but I think that they're just continuing to work on and verify their um, processors here that they're not exceeding the voltage that they expect in scenarios. So. Um, this is a good thing overall that we're getting this microcode update. It's a bad thing for anybody affected though that has to go through an RMA because there's been some good stories and some bad stories I've been hearing of and the bad stories just should not be happening for people that have had issues with uh, their processor degrading here. Now this patch is, uh, what is it, 012B or 0X12B is the microcode patch. So we've already had 125 and 129, now we're on 12B. And hopefully this is starting to get Intel out of the woods here. I know Intel has a upcoming processor launch here. What is it, October or something that's been hinted at, so rumored. And you know, even though they said it's not gonna affect this, this whole thing is not gonna affect their new processors. Uh, I'm not gonna go and take Intel at their word here at this time because they've already had a little bit of difference here of what's been going on or issues of what's been going on here and they've had these problems and they denied these problems and kind of delayed them for months and months and that's not the way to treat your customers that look to have be having a problem like this right the um, motherboard power delivery settings were exceeding Intel's power guidance and they've came out with this whole Intel default setting for recommended 13th and 14th gen. Then you had the ETVB microcode algorithm, which is allowing Intel processors, 13th and 14th gen, right, to operate higher states, and even at higher, higher states and higher temperatures. Then you had the microcode, um, or then you had the microcode SVID that was allowing, um, that algorithm was allowing an increase of higher voltages and frequencies during duration which caused a v-min ship shift and that was fixed in 129 and now you're having one that microcode and bios code requested elevator core voltage which can cause v-min shift especially during periods of idle and light activity and this is going to be mitigated in 12b which also encompasses 125 and 129 microcode updates so all together these microcode updates should hopefully start getting Intel and these processors within their confined um, space where they should be and not let them operate outside of it. Now, according to Intel, everything is within on a 14900K, 56, DDR5, 5600 uh, mega transfers per second. This is all within run-to-run -run variants, so there's not going to be a huge performance hit. However, I will say this, I kind of want to see what, uh, you know, like hardware and box. I mean, if I had one of these processors, I'd like to see test before and after, see where they kind of come in on the same processor, right, for the performance, but we'll see. Now, uh, I, I hope by doing these videos, more and more people will actually, if they have the 13th and 14th gen, go on up there to their BIOS or look as, or I even ask questions as how to upgrade their BIOS, how to get these microcode patches on their system, on their processor, if the processor is not degraded already. If it is degraded already, uh, I hope that you have good luck getting Intel to have an RMA for you quick and there's a quick turnaround for you because nobody wants to be left without the PC they, you know, they depend on or use or game on or whatever else, right? That's, uh, that's downtime where you could be enjoying yourself or getting work done, etc. So, the Intel does state that this is only on the 13th and 14th gen processors. It's not going to be on the next generation stuff. Uh, yeah, I, 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 let's, let's wait and see Intel. Uh, I hope that this is, you know, a sign that Intel is actually putting in the testing uh, methodology and what they need to kind of cover this in upcoming, you know, validation runs and new processors. But, I, you know, MSI looks to see, already have the 1-2-B already out. We'll see where they're going from there. But this is one of those things where, you know, you really hope that you don't have to deal with this. And here we are with uh, another microcode update. And only time will tell, I, you know, do I think this is going to be the last update? I personally don't think so. I think Intel will have another update for this. You know, I always hope that it's the last update. But, 
you know, if you miss something once, you know, you hope that that's the, that's the last thing. But any, if somebody tests this and they're going to see, I have a high voltage here and they have applied the patches, uh, which I, I suspect is going to happen at some point. Intel's going to have to look at this again. And maybe the best mechanism is, is once they get out the next generation, when the RMA comes in and they just ask you, do you want to upgrade? We'll give you, you know, this processor. Let's say they give you a new, you know, desktop processor and a new motherboard, right? There's going to be a new sock and everything else. And you just have to go out and buy the motherboard. Maybe you have to buy memory if you're on DDR4. That might be a way to help Intel out of this mess if, if there's just going to be a constant patch, patching issue, I know they extended the warranty, but let's say you still fail within the warranty, you're still going to have this problem. And Intel, I don't think, is going to want to continue to RMA 13th and 14th gen processors when they're still seeing this problem. And let's say that the processors they RMA have this issue, even with the microcode patches, right? That That is, the I think, one of the fears Intel has is we get all these patches, there's still a problem out there that unless we really just hold back all the voltages, it's still going to degrade and we're going to still have to RMA these chips. You don't want to be stuck in that cycle because then uh, it's, it, it's not fun and maybe just get, getting people out into that new platform is a way to get yourself out of this and a way to mitigate how many people are using the 13th and 14th gen that are having issues. So. With that, let me know what your thoughts are on all this Intel mess and if they're, how they've been handling it. If you had a problem with Intel RMA, I want to hear it. If you've had a good experience, I want to hear it in the comments below. And how many more microcode updates do you think Intel will uh, put out there? I, I think it's at least one more. Uh, you know, We'll see from there. But um, hopefully that they can take what they've learned and apply it to microcode updates, you know, on other processors as well. So thank you so much for watching and supporting Gray Overload and help this channel grow. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon, watch another one of my videos as that really does help out the channel. Until next time, God bless.